long overdue for a redesign after the first generation CUV went on whopping nine years in production. Following the stylish and smaller MKC crossover, the new Lincoln MKX ups its styling sophistication in addition to its driving experience and overall comfort. Essentially a gussied up Ford Edge, the Lincoln MKX is an American luxury CUV that's a welcomed player to the premium crossover game. The overall look of the MKX is much improved. It no longer looks like a stilted hearse. The new winged grille up front does a much better job at communicating the American luxury brand, and plus proper fender bulges on all four corners give it a more muscular appearance. So the MKX looks good whether it's moving or just standing still. The MKX offers plenty of space and cargo room that should suit most buyers' needs. There's lots of cup holders and pockets to go around. There's a nice deep center console up front, and then the rear cargo space is plentiful whether you're doing short or longer trips. Overall, the interior is handsome and uses high quality materials, soft touch plastics, although some things like this A-pillar cover kind of feel like an afterthought and it's a, it's a bit wobbly. But the seats are firm and supportive. Um, the rear passengers have lots of leg room, although it is a little cramped on headroom. And then my personal favorite feature, I am a sucker for a good moonroof, and this has an awesome one. The MKX makes good use of technology. It's got a push button start, and then it replaces the traditional gear shift knob instead with buttons. So this takes a little getting used to. The infotainment system is a little infuriating. The sync with my Lincoln Touch is a little problematic to use, but thankfully this is gonna get replaced mid-year with the much better Sync 3 system. And then it does have a nice backup camera that provides several different angles for you to scroll through. The MKX is also equipped with all the standard safety features that you'd expect from a vehicle in a premium segment. It's got front and rear sensors, in addition to adaptive cruise control, uh, brake assist, so it's got you covered on the road. The interior is nice and quiet thanks to acoustic glass that's all around and lined fender walls that do a nice job of canceling outside road noise. The steering is surprisingly precise and crisp. Um, there's good body control. With all-wheel drive, the vehicle feels planted. And um, also, when you switch from comfort into sport mode, there's a noticeable difference if you want to do some more spirited driving. And it's powered by a 335 horsepower, 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6 that moves the vehicle with authority yet still remaining composed on the road. Lincoln knows that it's got to bring it to the CUV segment in order to keep the brand alive. And the MKX does do a solid job of providing great luxury and a comfortable, enjoyable riding experience. But with that being said, we're still not entirely convinced it's enough to pull people away from the likes of Lexus, Cadillac, and Acura. Uh, we love the way that it looks and drives, but the interior does lack a little something special to really set it apart. And with a price tag of nearly 60 k that is a lot of money to consider. But what the MKX does do well is provide distinct American flavor to this segment.